In the heart of our tale lies a man, a man of considerable size. His body, a labyrinth of folds and crevices, was a breeding ground for a myriad of unusual occurrences. One day, he arrived at the office of a friend of mine, a seasoned doctor, complaining of an unusual infection. The infection, it seemed, was nestled within one of the man's many folds of fatty tissue. So, armed with his trusty forceps, my doctor friend dared to venture into the uncharted terrain. As he parted the folds to better inspect the infection, he made a discovery that was both shocking and bewildering. There, nestled within the man's folds, was a decaying frog. Yes, you heard right, a frog. Its life prematurely cut short, the amphibian had found an unfortunate tomb within the man's blubber. The frog, now lifeless, had caused redness, discomfort, and eventually an infection that prompted a visit to the doctor. Now you might be wondering, how did a frog end up there? The answer, as it turns out, is stranger than fiction. The man and his wife, both significantly obese, were trying to conceive a child. Their method of choice? Floating naked together in the frog pond behind their house. It was the only way they could achieve the necessary position. The working theory is that the frog was attracted to the sweaty smegma, or perhaps the tiny pond critters drawn to it that built up in the man's fat folds. Somehow, as this man maneuvered himself in the pond, the poor frog found itself encapsulated in his blubber, unable to escape. So, there you have it, a tale as bizarre as it is tragic. A simple desire to create life leading to an unexpected death, and a doctor's routine day turned extraordinary. It's a reminder that life is full of strange and unexpected twists, and that the human body in all its complexity and peculiarities is a universe unto itself. And as for the man, well, he learned a valuable lesson about hygiene and the importance of maintaining a healthy weight. The world, it seems, is full of strange stories, and this is certainly one of them.